him to think I was working. Yeah, well, you'll never fool him that way. Why not? You haven't got any paper in the typewriter. Oh. <laughs> hey, did you see this afternoon's paper? No, why? Stacy's department store is having a big sale. Really? Oh, wow. They're really having a sale. Everything's more than half off. Yeah, half off. That bikini on that model looks it. <laughs> oh, that is a beauty. I'd love to have that bikini. Oh, Lucy, would you wear a bikini like that on a public beach? No, but I'd hang it on my clothesline. That ought to get me some action. <laughs> See, everything's on sale. Appliances, clothes, furniture. Uh-oh. What? The sale is for one day only, tomorrow. So? So I have to work tomorrow. Well, so do I, but I'm going to tell my boss I've got a toothache. <laughs> Why don't you tell Mr. Mooney you have to go to the dentist? No. I tried that a few times, and Mr. Mooney always insists on going to the dentist with me. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, so far I've had three perfectly good teeth pulled. <laughs> if I do it anymore, I won't have a tooth in my head. Well, why don't you tell him you've got the mumps? Oh, no. I told him I'm sick too often. He, he just never believed me. He'd believe you if he saw you getting sick. What do you mean? While you're working this afternoon, act sick. You know, moan, groan, cry a little. Well, that won't work. I do that every week when he gives me my salary. <laughs> but, Lizzie, if he sees you getting sick right here in this office, he'll insist that you go home. Well, now, Mr. Mooney, he's not easy to fool. He's a man, isn't he? Yeah. Well, then he's easy to fool. <laughs> if you play it smart. You see, you don't say you're sick. You just act sick. And then when he suggests you go home, you refuse. Refuse? And then when you refuse to go home, he'll insist you go home. He'll insist? Believe me, when Mr. Mooney sees you suffering, he's got to sympathize with you. After all, he's, he's human. Let's not make any snap judgments. <laughs> well, it's worth a try. All right. I'll give it a try. I really would love to go shopping. You know I need a new refrigerator. What's the matter with the one you got? Well, you know, it has a capacity of 14 cubic feet, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, I got one foot of food and 13 feet of frost. <laughs> Everything frosts up. Everything? Yeah. Tonight for dinner, I'm having a, a spaghetti popsicle. Oh, my God. Would you like to join me? See you later. Okay. Right early now. If I can fool Mr. Mooney. Don't worry. It'll work. Do what I said. All right. <laughs> Wilson and Russ. Yes, sir. Wilson and Russ. Yes. Gentlemen, regarding your inquiry of the 15th, I think the loan uh. can be... <laughs> Did you say something, Mrs. Carmine? No, sir. Oh. I uh, think the loan can be arranged on the following terms. We ah! have the... <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, are you all right? Ah. Uh. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, right. no Oh, following turn. Uh, the principal will be paid over a period of 20 years. Ah! <laughs> Are you sure you're all right? Oh, yes, yes. I feel fi fi fine. Oh, uh, well, perhaps you'd like to rest for a while. Oh, no. No, sir. There's work to be done. 
Oh, all right, then let's get on with it. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, yeah. Payments will be made semi-annually on the 1st of January and on the 1st of July next year. Yeah. On, on... <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, are you in pain? No. Uh, is it constant pain? No, only when I breathe. <laughs> well, maybe you'd like to go home. Oh, no. No, I'd rather stay. Let, let's just... Keep on working. I feel much better when I'm working. It takes my mind off the pain. Oh, now are you quite sure you want to continue working? Oh, yes, sir. I'll be all right. Oh, all right. Where was I? 15th January. Oh, yes. Uh, should a payment be missed, there will be a forfeiture penalty. Ah, I, uh... I can't. I can't. I can't. What's the matter with it? It's What's the matter stuck. with it? It's having a spasm. Mrs. Carmichael, you are ill. Oh. Let me feel your forehead. No fever, no. Let me see your tongue. <laughs> Looks all right. Let me look at those eyes. Oh. I hope whatever it is isn't contagious. <laughs> uh, well, let, let's continue with the dictation. I'll write with my left hand. Uh, Miss Carmichael, please, go home. No, I want to stay. I want to stay. I want to work. I want to work. I think you ought to go home. No, I want to stay. I want to stay. I Mrs. Carmichael, I insist that you go home. Oh, well, if you insist. <laughs> Thank you very much, oh. Mr. Moore. Don't, very don't mention it. Don't mention it. And, and if you don't feel well tomorrow, don't come back to work. No, I won't. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Now, remember, this is our biggest sale, and this is the zero hour. I hope you're all prepared for what's coming. Remember, those are customers out there, and they outnumber us by more than 50 to 1. <laughs> and I can assure you, they will show us no mercy. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. To your post, to your post. <laughs> they're here, they're here. Oh, I haven't been mauled and crushed like that since my first blind date in high school. <laughs> Good heavens. Come on over here. Look, the Jiffy automatic stove. Set the timer and it turns itself on and off. How do you like that? You don't even have to be home to burn your dinner. <laughs> Boy, cooking is so easy now. They've got instant cream, instant coffee, instant milk, instant this, instant that. Yeah, everything but instant money to pay yeah. for it. <laughs> oh, hey, I see the juicers I want over here. What? Your juicer. <laughs> What's so Beauty. funny? Come here, look. Look at the name and the slogan. Little squeeze orange juicer. Men, make your wife happy. Give her a little squeeze in the kitchen. <laughs> you. you get your little squeeze. I'm going to look yeah. around. Okay. Oh, miss. 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 But it said try our unbreakable dishes, so I, I I just picked them up and I just tapped. You did it again. Well, for heaven's sake, why does it say unbreakable when they're breakable? Those are unbreakable. These are imported china. And breakable. You should know. These are the unbreakable. Guaranteed. <laughs> Madam, there are 59 different...
different departments in this store. Why did you have to come to this one? <laughs> Never mind. Now, now, just what kind of dishes do you want? Oh, I don't want any dishes. <laughs> you don't want dishes? No, I came in here to buy a refrigerator. <clears throat> the refrigerators are over there. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> don't touch that! Why not? Because you are liable to break it. If you're interested in this model, I will demonstrate it for you. Thank you. Now, this is the freezer unit with the automatic ice maker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now, <laughs> the uh, vegetable crisper, latest design, so is the meat freshener. Shelves slide in and out easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has a five-year guarantee. And it comes at the amazingly low sale price of only two ninety nine ninety nine. Two ninety nine ninety nine. Yes. Is Madam interested in making a purchase? Well, Madam is, but Madam's budget isn't. <laughs> I'll have to think it over. May I have your card in case I decide on anything? Very well. Thank you. Oh, did you get your squeezer? Yeah. Did you find a refrigerator you like? Yeah, I found one I like. But it's $2.99.99. Oh, that's a lot of money. But isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Lucy? And it's got all the newest gadgets. Yeah. Look. <gasps> Look. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Rupp. Give me back my car! <laughs> I don't want you to even know my name. I've got to know your name in case I decide to buy a refrigerator. I won't know whom to ask for. Good, good, good. <laughs> Please, madam, just don't buy a refrigerator. Well, I... Eat warm food. <laughs> I don't... Please, go, go, go! Oh. Yeah, they're so emotional. No wonder they're having a sale. Everything's broken. <laughs> our customer of the year. I did. You're a... Oh. Uh. You're a very lucky lady. Oh, really? You're the 10 millionth customer to enter this department. And you've just received a great many valuable gifts. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Well, you got a set of golf clubs. Golf clubs? A set of luggage. Oh. A washing oh. machine, a dryer, oh. a dishwasher. A color television set. Oh, really? A color television oh, set. And oh. this beautiful refrigerator completely stocked with food. A refrigerator? That's what I came in here that's to buy. That's what you came in to buy, I, a refrigerator. I to, and you're I a wanna, very lucky lady. Oh, I certainly oh. am. Nothing like this ever happened to me. Oh, and you're lucky too, Mary Jane. I am? I'm going to give the color TV set to you. You're going to give it to me? Yes, but we'll keep it in my apartment. <laughs> down and watch it anytime you want and you can eat from my completely stocked refrigerator would you please give me your name and address yes lucille carmichael oh where do i live where do i live uh, gower street uh, glen hall apartments yes 780 north gower street hollywood and you're a housewife uh, I am? Oh, yes. Yes, I, I am. Yes. I, um, I do take care of my apartment, but I, uh, I work during the day at the Westland Bank. A very fine bank. Oh, the best bank in town. You may quote me. 
Uh, Mrs. Carmichael, yes? our photographer is here. Your photographer? Would you mind having your picture taken while oh. I congratulate you? Oh, I, I didn't expect to have my picture oh, taken Lucy. today. Well, I... Oh, oh, my hair must be a mess. Good heavens, that, that bulb is so bright, all I can see is a big blue blob. Thank you, and congratulations again. Well, thank you. <laughs> Your prizes will be delivered in a few days. Oh, oh, really? Oh, thank you very much. And remember to buy tomorrow's newspaper. Your picture will be in it and a story all about you. Oh, really? Oh, I want to tell you it's the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. Thank you. You're thank very you. welcome. Oh, oh look. You. <laughs> Your picture's going to be yeah. in the paper. Gee, I'll be famous. Everybody will, will see my picture. Yeah. Mr. Mooney will be so proud. And when I... <laughs> Mr. Oh, Mooney, no. if Mr. Mooney sees my picture in the paper, you'll know I wasn't sick. Or oh, maybe you'll get lucky and he won't read the paper. No chance. He reads it every morning the minute he gets in the office. Well, you've got to stop him from reading that paper. I know what I'll do. I'll hide his glasses. Good idea. No, it isn't. He doesn't wear glasses. <laughs> I know. I'll get to the office before he does and get rid of the paper. Oh, would you want me to call you and wake you up? Don't, don't worry about it. I'll be awake all night. <laughs> if he sees that paper, he'll kill me. Lucy, the most he can do is fire you. I know, Mr. Mooney. He'll kill me and then fire me. Exactly a lie. <laughs> George! <laughs> Jane. Yes, I just hit it. No, he's not here yet. Well, thanks. Yeah, I just saw it. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was a nice picture. What wrinkle? No. <laughs> that wasn't a wrinkle. Your paper was creased. <laughs> I better hang up. I hear him coming. Well. Oh, good morning, Mr. Mooney. Good morning, Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> You know, you, you didn't have to come to work if you're ill. Oh, well, I'm not sick anymore. <laughs> well, there must be something the matter with you. You're early. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I just figured as long as I was off yesterday, I should come in early today and catch up on all my work. Well, that's very commendable. Very commendable. Uh, uh, what, uh, what was the matter with you? I don't know, but I'm all right now. <laughs> Good. Good. Mrs. Carmichael? Yes, Mr. Mooney? Where's my newspaper? Where's your newspaper? It isn't here. It isn't here? Where is it? Where is it? Was your mother frightened by a parrot? <laughs> now stop repeating everything I say and help me find my newspaper. Where did it be? Why don't you forget about your newspaper and let's just get to work? No, no, I just don't feel right unless I read my morning newspaper. I want to know what's going on in the world. Well, I'll tell you. The temperature's up, the stock market is down, and little orphan Annie's lost again. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, will you stop being facetious and go out and buy me a newspaper? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> There are a lot of newspapers. 
Yeah, Mr. Moody, you know you read too much anyway. What? Yeah, you're always reading. You know, the bank reports, the stock market charts, and the, the fine print and the mortgage papers. And you're just straining your eyes. They're all bloodshot. My eyes are not bloodshot. How can you tell you're seeing them from the inside? <laughs> Come on, Michael, I am no... I'm doing this for your own good, Mr. Mooney. Really, you do. You work too hard. Rest your eyes for a change. It'll do you good. Well, maybe you're right. You know, I have been getting headaches lately. I know, I know. You've been getting headaches ever since I came to work for you. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't mean it that way. I, I don't think Mrs. that they... Mrs. Carmichael, are... I appreciate your concern. All right, I'll skip the newspaper this morning. Good. Now, can we get to work? Yes, sir. <laughs> Lucy? Oh, hello, Laurie. This picture of you is just wonderful. Goodbye, Laurie. <laughs> the prizes you won. Yeah, goodbye, Laurie. Just a moment. <laughs> what? picture of you. Oh, it's nothing. Laurie was just going, weren't you, Laurie? She's going, but the papers say. <laughs> Westland Bank employee wins fabulous prizes. Yeah, that's not my picture. Really, Mr. Mooney, see, I got red hair. Her hair is black. <laughs> so you were sick yesterday. Answer me! Were you sick? No, but I am now. <laughs> And you played me for a sucker. No, I, I... And that act you put on pretending to be sick. Oh, my hand. I got on the bed. Please, oh, Miss Mooney, I want to stay. I want to work. I want to work. I want... And like a fool, I let you get away with it. I'm sorry, Mr. Sorry Mr. isn't enough. Oh. To begin with, you will not be paid for yesterday. And the only reason I don't fire you is because I'm such a sweet guy. <laughs> God. Yes, yes, now you get to work. And I don't want to hear another word about your sneaky endeavors. Yes, sir. Uh, Mooney! Oh, sir. <laughs> Congratulations, old boy. You did it again. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Cheever, sir. What did I do? Oh, playing it sly, huh? A little <laughs> modest, huh? <laughs> Westland Bank employee wins fabulous prizes. Oh, I tell you, this story about your secretary in the newspapers is the most wonderful publicity. And we appreciate it. That's good public relations. And it only happened because you were thoughtful enough to allow Mrs. Carmichael to take off, to go shopping. <laughs> That's because he's such a sweet guy. He certainly is. Oh, sure. <laughs> but he is not the only one that can be sweet. Now, in order to show our appreciation, the bank is going to give you one full week's salary as a bonus. A full week's salary? That's right. <laughs> and I'm sure you will want to show your appreciation by giving Mrs. Carmichael a week's salary out of that bonus. <laughs> uh, uh, of course, sir. Yes. yes. <laughs> Mooney, I am proud of you. <laughs> Keep up the good work. <laughs> Gee, a whole week's salary for me. Thank you, Mr. Mooney. A half week's salary. <laughs> Mr. Cheever just said that you should give me a whole week's salary. I don't care what he said. And one more word out of you, and you won't get a red cent. And you're supposed to be such a sweet guy. I am a sweet guy! And don't 